Okay, so you just got your new iPad, or maybe you've had yours forever and you just didn't know this, but yes, you can use your iPad as a graphics tablet, drawing pad, pen display, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you how to throw away that Wacom in about four minutes. I've actually got a timer pulled up here on my Mac just to show you how quick and easy it is. So the first step is to go into Control Center in the top right hand corner, and you're going to click Screen Mirroring. Now, if you're on the same Wi-Fi, your iPad's going to pop up right away. But I actually want to show you how to do this with the cable because I think it has a little bit less lag and a little bit more performance. So just take your charging cable from your iPad, pop it in both sides there, just a regular USB-C cable. And now when I go back to screen mirroring, the iPad should pop right up. There it is. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is it really zooms in your computer. It like magnifies this thing. That's because it's optimizing the screen for the iPad and not the Mac. That's actually like personal preference. I like it to be a little bit more zoomed out. So if you're like me, go to display. You can hit display settings. And then this optimize for, you can just click the Mac. And that will shrink everything back down to how it should look. While you're in here, there's a couple other settings. If you click on the iPad, you can actually get rid of this sidebar on the left-hand side and this touch bar on the bottom size, and that kind of maximizes your screen real estate. But besides that, you could use this as a second display, but for a drawing tablet, mirroring is perfect, and you should be ready to go. So from here, just pull up whatever program. I'm gonna pull up Adobe Illustrator, and mine's actually a little laggy because I'm screen recording. So I'm gonna pause for a second and we're back. Just like that, timer is still rolling by the way. And now I'm screen recording on the iPad so you can see it totally fine. And you can see I can zoom in and out and there's no lag, which is really cool. So there's a few things that you should know before walking into this. First of all, it's not gonna work exactly as you think. And what I mean by that is you might think, hey, I'm gonna click on the rectangle tool here or something and tapping on it doesn't really work anymore. Um, so then you think, well, I've got the magic keyboard, I'm gonna use my trackpad, and the trackpad, you actually can't click on things either. So the way you control this iPad, whoa, that was thunder, sorry. The way you control this iPad is by using your Apple Pencil. So if I bring this up to here, you can see it hovers around, and now I've got my mouse control again. And then I can touch down, and I can draw. So it's actually really nice. And then the Magic Keyboard does work. I can do Command Z and get out of there. I can go select something else. So whether you're using this for Photoshop, Illustrator, even After Effects to draw on a video or something, it's pretty intuitive. Now the things that you should know is that pencil sensitivity for the Apple Pencil does not work. So pressing down does not make things as um, like thicker or thinner as you would imagine it normally does. How do you spell so, so subscribe? <laughs> and uh, the squeeze button on the Apple Pencil doesn't work. So it's really just for drawing. So there are things that maybe your Wacom tablet will do better than this. But if you don't have a Wacom tablet and you just have an iPad, this is a pretty good substitute rather than using your trackpad or mouse to try and draw on Adobe Illustrator. You can also swipe up and get out of here. So this is just an app called Sidecar. So you can open up different apps, mess with them, then go back to Sidecar and start drawing immediately and take control of your Mac again. So if you found this helpful, then please hit the subscribe button. I post a video every single week. Let's see if we're still under four minutes. It's four minutes, five seconds. I hope that's okay. I'll see you next week with another design-related video.